thanks so much for coming back for Shelley's Myringotomy and Placement of Tympanostomy Tube. Be sure to watch part one if you haven't seen it already. Click the link and watch it, and you'll be able to see why she's getting this tube placed because of the fluid development in her ear and the initial myringotomy, the incision in the eardrum itself. Now on to see the actual placement of the tube and Shelly's surprising reaction. Here's this back. I'll go ahead and take the tube, please, on a little alligator. Uh, yeah. We don't have an up and down one? Yeah, go grab that up and down one. And I'll take the tube if you want my... Yeah, I'll show it to you here. So I'll open this up. So that is a, it's a small, one of the smaller tubes that we use. It is a, um, a mini kind of short acting tube, which is only designed to stay in the eardrum for about six months. It'll fall out. And uh, basically this just hangs around in there to make sure that that fluid doesn't reaccumulate. And I'll need that straight pick too. I don't know if Dr. O has one here. You got, oh yeah, he does, perfect. Popping in and out. Are both ends of the tube identical? Yeah, so there are there are ones that aren't. You know, kind of like a little bobbin where you can kind of pull it out. In this case, uh, it's it's identical. Looks kind of like a spool of thread. You know, without the thread on it. And those little flanges just prevent it from going in or out. <laughs> that hurt? This is a lot of pressure. Yeah, your eardrum is super thick. And so that doesn't allow the a little bit of compliance as I'm trying to push that tube through. So. Remind me, you'd had like a ton of ear infections as a kid? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you have a lot of what we call moringosclerosis, which is just scar tissue in the eardrum. And it just kind of reduces some of the compliance as I'm trying to get this soft tube to squeeze through. I'm sorry.
Oh, I'm a little lightheaded. Oh, you're getting a little lightheaded? Like, I don't know if it's just my legs are starting to feel tingly. Okay. Here, will you hold this for me? Will you get a little, a little hooked, hooked one? Let me just sit you back just a little bit more. Okay, and I'll have Crystal get just a little cool rag. Sometimes people get a little vasovagal episode if we're kind of working in your ear for a little bit. Okay. Just easy, easy breaths. Um, you still feeling a little, little lightheaded? Yeah, I just feel like really hot. Yes, sweaty. you're having a little vasovagal episode. Okay, let me sit you down a little bit more. Everything is fine. Okay, get that hot light out of your face. Um, You get a wet rag too. Okay. We had a, uh, it's teenage boys is usually where we see this on. <laughs> teenage boys come in and they, they, they'd be real stoic about it. Yeah, I was like, am I just feeling safe? Yeah, yeah, no, it's, it's better, trust me, it's better to say something soon than to, than to uh, try and wait it out. A lot of people have this when they get blood draws, when they have little procedures done, and uh, it just takes a little bit of time for your blood pressure to kind of come back up again. You feel real hot and clammy. You feel like you're going to light. You see, not seeing stars, but things get a little fuzzy and white. Yeah. Yeah. So we lay you down. We help help the blood kind of return to your head. You can even put your feet up if you a little bit if you'd like, kind of right up like that. Yeah. And that'll help a bit. We'll give it just a couple minutes. And you got that one with the little. Um, let me see. Yeah, this one. The, uh, the little one. She's got the thick eardrum, and then the tube gets a little slimy from the numbing medicine. You could see it on the screen, right? It was bouncing all over the place. Yeah. And then you let me know when you're feeling kind of normal again. Oh, anyway, I was telling you that we had this, this poor poor boy come in and we were doing something in his nose and he did really fine for it but he didn't eat breakfast beforehand oh, no. and you didn't either did you I, I ate breakfast mm. but not like I was kind of like oh, do I eat now yeah so that's the thing is people are a little nervous so they don't want to eat yeah and then he did fine through the procedure he passed out in the hallway <laughs> right, out, right out in front of everybody oh, poor kid was so embarrassed he's super tall yeah he was a big oh. kid <laughs> we felt bad for him you feel a little better? We well, get her a glass of water too, and we'll sit her up and we'll just let her have a little sip of water. Now, this happened one time. My, oh. What was this? Oh, when I was having my second. Uh huh. I was like, man, I'm like really thirsty, and I'm like, I need water really bad. Yeah. And she's like, just wait, lay down. You were having a vasovagal. Um, you didn't even warn me, man. We would have. Well, I'm like, is it just me? <laughs> like, there's, no, I'm not like, I shouldn't be nervous. I'm fine. I'm not like in pain. You have, yeah, that's so, a funny like, thing. My knees started getting all like yep. weary. I'm like, I'm thirsty. I'm. There you go. There you go. Okay. I had it happen as a medical student once. I was a resident actually. I was an intern, and I was in a in a surgery. I'd done a million times, and I just had skipped breakfast, and I was nervous about my attending asking me all these questions, and I just I could feel it happening, and I had to excuse. I said, I have to sit down, or I'm going to pass out. <laughs> Super embarrassing. <laughs> But it happens all the time. You have no control over it. Mm. Okay, we're almost finished. I promise. Okay. Yeah. No. Okay. How do I get that recording? All right. Well, let me let me get you situated. It's just that record button on the side. Uh, yeah. That's it. There we go. All right. All right. Will you hand me that other one, Crystal? The one we were using. The one I asked you to bring me. Sorry. Let's see if this helps us at all.
Ah. Thank you so much for coming back to part two of Shelly's Myringotomy and Tube Placement. Come back for part three where you'll see the tube actually get placed and Dr. Fife's extension of the Myringotomy. Mm -hmm.